first I want to do like a going one step back and understanding yes. also what the main functions of a bank. That's very nice. We haven't discussed about that today. So a neo-banker brings the bank core yeah, to the table. People, nice. it, like, yeah. This is something that has not changed for uh, centuries now. Yeah, like centuries. People need to mind that. There's like two core really like functions. The first one is to keep the, the customer's money safe. Yes. Um, and I think the, there's one like um, quiet like victory that people didn't figure out is that the COVID-19 is the very first global crisis where there was no bank run. Nobody feared that actually they would go to yeah, the bank true. and take their money. This is the very first crisis in almost in the history where like nobody feared about the crisis. This is a big victory. Okay. But now let's focus on the second piece. That's which, a victory for the whole banking industry worldwide. And for yeah, the customers. For the, like people yeah. need to understand yeah. that if they're... If they they're, trust if, their if, banks. If they trust their bank, their, yeah. their money is safe and everybody is happy. Okay. It's not just the bank, the banker talking, but also the customer. But the second piece, which is really important and we're going to discuss today, is enabling customers like yes. financial life. And this is where we'll see like there was like two different worlds. There was the world of the of the existing bank, where or the traditional bank, where they were wondering how they could open their their retail branch. Yeah. And the rest of the world uh, was like that had like a digital bank that were capable to bank every day. And this yeah. is like something where right now like the digital bank is not something of the future like like electric car. This is like happening today, and people like were capable to do it, especially in a in a time where people were not capable to to go in a branch or they had to self distanciate. So this is something that is really happening. The second thing, and like like when we're talking about numbers, everybody understood that like the um, the, the contactless payment like became like uh, broad, like especially during like the the COVID, seventy five percent of all the all the payments were contactless. Yeah. But the most important thing and interesting thing is when you ask the customers, like they move to contactless, but they are not aiming at coming back. So this is a real big change that we've wow. seen like during like uh, since the the COVID nineteen. What is interesting is that across the markets, across the people, people like went uh, less to the ATM, um, yes. which you is... couldn't spend it in bars or you couldn't spend that money anywhere, anywhere. And you didn't want to touch the yeah. bill anymore. Like what okay, we've seen is like post-COVID, okay. post, post -COVID, like people didn't go back to the ATM as much as before. So okay, this is something that has changed and like this so is between across the board. two lockdowns, you even notice that people aren't going to get the cash that you used to be getting at, in their wallets. They, they prefer to stick to the digital payment. Uh, obviously, also everyone went online, but like the most important thing during the COVID is not only everybody went online, yeah. but the oldest people were the one who actually went and did more and more shopping than before.